New details now about the Gummins' final hours in that hotel before the rampage. More on that from our senior national correspondent, Matt Gutman, who got that aerial view of the room. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, George. And from the air, you really get a sense of the scope of this massacre, those deadly bullets flying hundreds of yards, but also the sense of the scale of this investigation. Now, that forensic work we got to see from the sky is pretty much all investigators have to try to piece together a motive here because Stephen Paddock left behind no manifesto, no suicide note, no phone calls. This morning, a view inside Stephen Paddock's sniper's nest from the sky. A helicopter bringing us to the Las Vegas Strip. Inside one shattered window, we see pillows stacked high on a stripped bed. The other window partially blocked by plywood. But inside, investigators still carefully dissecting the scene Thursday. Our flight following the bullet's path right over that concert venue. Still a very active crime scene. When you look down in there, you see evidence of what was this family-friendly festival. There are hundreds and hundreds of lawn chairs, strollers, walkers, drinks still on tables, and then it looks like it was hit by a tornado. FBI forensics teams, shoulder to shoulder, painstakingly scouring the site, right there, marking evidence with spray paint. Stephen Paddock's storm of bullets traveling an incredible distance, at least a thousand yards. And on the ground, it sowed chaos. Responders jumping into action, helping to evacuate crowds unable to process the horror. Run, those are socks! Run, don't walk! And this morning, we're learning more about the heroic actions of bystanders. This video shot by Ray Page, who went back to get his truck, which was parked nearby, driving it right into the kill zone, turning that white pickup into a makeshift ambulance. Do we have any other wounded people do you take? Not right now. Ray Page driving them back up this trip to paramedics unable to get into the fire zone. I got five wounded. Gunshot wounded the chest here. This morning, we also learn more about Paddock's final hours. The night before the shooting, sources tell ABC News Paddock reportedly calling in two noise complaints about guests staying in the room below him. Floyd Conradi was staying in the room immediately beneath one of Paddock's sniper's nests. And at what point did you begin to notice that something was wrong? About the third volley of shots. And as those forensics teams continue to comb the site, family members beginning to say their final farewells. Jamie Robinson lost her beloved baby brother, Cameron. He was just 28. Does part of you ever wish that you could have been there with him? I wish I could have taken his place because he had so much going for him. And I would have given my life and heartbeat for him to go on. And it's simply so gutting to be with the victim's family members. And until now, this city has really just been in a state of shock. But now the morning has begun. You can see this memorial that was set up just yesterday. 58 crosses, each one of them with the names of the victims, pictures, candles, and flowers. And even at this early hour, you can see that there are people here paying their respects. Now, the memorials and the funerals begin next week. Guys. Wow. Mm. What a powerful uh, image right there. So haunting. And another powerful image of this photo that was shared so many times by, mm. by so many people is showing a hero shielding a woman from the gunfire. What well, the U.S. Army has now confirmed the man in the photo is soldier Matthew Kobos. And they called him the epitome of the American soldier. Oh, and um, really selfless. powerful. Yeah, that gives powerful you chills image. to see the heroism oh, there. Yeah. Oh, thanks for sharing that. And, um, you know, we have a programming note. ABC News in 2020 will air a special document, documentary pre presentation tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern on the heroism amid the tragedy, what happened in Vegas. It airs tonight at 10 Eastern, 9 Central, right here on ABC. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.